One of the coolest things about 3D printing and making in general is actually identifying a problem, be it big, small, or indifferent, or even a generated problem, and coming up with a solution that's kind of fun, cool, and just different. Um, this napkin created a problem for me at work of what to do with it. Let's see what I did. I'm Ron, and this is my place. So this napkin was a problem at work because we, we work up on the uh, third floor and the, we have napkins but we don't have any place to put them so they're just in kind of a brown bag. Um, so I always grab a chunk of them and they're in my desk. So I wanted to f do something with them so they weren't just loose in my desk. So eventually I just grabbed one, brought it home, popped into three, Fusion 360 and created a box. It's obviously not earth shattering science. <laughs> it's like a Kleenex size, but it's cool because it is perfectly sized for these napkins. So now I can put the napkins in and they're all kind of set up anyways. And then I feed them up into, into this and then I'll be able to pull them right out. So it's it sit out on my desk and and it even has company pride on it. It's where I work. Well, there you go. So if you look at it, it's kind of cool. It turned out actually pretty well. Um, again, like I said, it's the name of my company. I printed it in two pieces, obviously, face down like so. And as you can see, there was on this one, just a skosh of uh, lifting on that corner, um, but that was one of the reasons with the you know the big slot. This one printed and had the exact same for whatever reason, the same exact corner, um, so that one lifted a little bit more. Um, this was printed in uh, rep cord on the both of these were printed on the Mark III. And other than the warping in that one corner, it turned out really, really nice and really, really clean. Beautiful first layer, nice and strong. I put three millimeter um, sides on it. Uh, wasn't trying to do anything fancy, just wanted to kind of throw it out there. And then this printed out really well. Um, maybe a little bit tight on the, on the first layer. I did the... Um, upgrade or the uh, change to the latest firmware and the drivers and the uh, right when it got to the to the first layer the screen went all garbled and that's happened a few times actually in firmware updates on the mark three and uh then when i did the first layer i think i got a little bit close um it's a little bit too smashed i think but it works it looks fine um put just enough it's got like a half a mil um, relief in there for the for the words and that was exactly what I kind of wanted was just a nice little nice little picture and then of course it just goes right on there we go and that app can come out So what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'll pop into Fusion 360 and do a really quick um, rundown on what, how I made it and what I did, um, and then we'll call it good from there. So here we go. Take a look. Okay, so basically this is what I did. Is This is what we were looking for is the napkin box with a lid that dropped down. So it's really two boxes that are hollow with an opening in the top. So let's go ahead and scroll back to the beginning of time and we're going to start walking our way through it. And as you can see, that's way too fast to talk about. <laughs> so w first thing we did was we created, I created a sketch and uh, the sketch was just a basic rectangle. 
and at that point I extruded it out as a big block and then used the um, uh, the shell command to actually tell it to empty it out basically with the perimeter so that made it really easy to get a three millimeter top bottom and sides um, and at that point I was done with the bottom and I just had to go through and create the next one which was um, I actually created another sketch that d did an offset from the first one to give me my um, tolerance or the the uh, clearance if you will for the the lid because I didn't want it to be exactly right on it and then I did that as well and turned it into a big b block and uh, the clearance was I think I did 3.2 millimeters is where I started the the thing and then I created a big block and it made a three millimeter shell so that gave me a 0.2 millimeter I think that's how maybe it was even as far as a millimeter I can't really recall exactly what I did um, with that and at that point um, I created I'm trying to remember what I did at this point um, so now I had all the the bodies and I actually um, hollowed them out so at that point they were the same and then I created another sketch which was on the face. I did a, a, a sketch and selected the face of the uh, top of the box that allowed me to write, put an elliptical in starting from the center and uh, so I popped that into there and then extruded that out as a whole um, and actually cut into the top face and at that point I created I think the words. I actually did another sketch on the top face and then put a the the words into there and after that ended up creating a little extrusion on each of these where I came in and cut uh, 0.5 millimeters I believe is what it was and then I did that on the second one and that was it at that point I was I was done so now, now, now you kinda know uh, how I made it and it was really easy literally a box and extrude with the uh, um, make hollow or whatever the uh, the phrase was I can't remember off the top of my head um, yeah it was really easy really simple uh, this again was printed in two different colors of Repcord PLA um, a green and a yellow obviously uh, both printed on the Prusa i3 mark 3 and I printed them at 0.2 layer height and I think that the fault was 215 or something like that on the nozzle and 60 on the bed it's interesting though I don't I never really noticed this before and I don't know if it's an artifact from the new drivers but there's you can really see the I what I'm guessing is the infill on the lines of this inside there it's really interesting really really stands right out um, assume the bubbles got yeah they both have the exact same thing but anywho there you go hope you liked it again functional prints come up with an idea or a problem and come up with a solution thank you much enjoy your night and print everything you can